Hi everyone! Did you know we use plastic for so many things? For example, plastic bag, water bottle, and food container. With so much plastic all around us, have you ever thought what is a plastic? Plastic is like a change of small unit. One of these little unit is called a monomer. Each of these little unit or monomer are connected to other monomer forming a long change. This change is called a polymer. This polymer change group together and then makes out the plastic. Plastic are usually made from oil. Plastic takes 1000 years or more to break down when we throw it away. What if we could engineer new materials that could break down the plastic easier? Well, fruit and vegetable break down or root very easier when they left out over time. In fact, they only take 3 or 4 weeks to break down when they are thrown away. What if we made plastic out of fruit and vegetable? So today, I'm going to make tapioca plastic by using kitchen ingredient. And you can do this yourself at home too. So first of all, measure out 25 gram of tapioca starch and add the starch into the pot. To get an accurate measurement, you can use a digital scale. Next, add 150 ml of tap water and stir it well. Make sure the starch is completely dissolved. You can add water little by little so that the starch does not clump. Then add 1 teaspoon of vinegar. Next, add 1 teaspoon of glycerin. You can buy this glycerin at grocery store or pharmacy. Continue to stir the solution. Next, add a few drops of food coloring to make a very exciting plastic. To get the solution to turn into plastic, I'm going to add heat. When you're doing this at home, on a stove, be careful not to touch any hot surface or handle hot liquid directly. Stir the solution continuously on heat. As it starts to thicken, raise the heat from low to medium, up to high. Once the mixture thicken, allow the solution to boil on medium high heat for another 1 minute. Allow the mixture to cool for a couple of minutes, then scoop the mixture on the lid and spread it out. Put the mixture under the sunlight until it completely dry or wait at least 24 hours or more for the bioplastic to dry. So earlier, I have talked about an oil-based plastic, but now I'm going to talk about tapioca plastic. The dry starch powder is a bundle of polymer. I add it to water to loose up those bundles. Some of the starch polymer has branches on it, which make it difficult to form a good plastic. I add a vinegar to cut off those branches and make a linear polymer called amylose. If I just made plastic from this linear polymer amylose, I will get a very rigid plastic. So, I add glycerin to make the plastic more flexible. Move back to my tapioca plastic. When the plastic is completely dry, you can pull it off the lid. I also made a different shape and color for my bioplastic bowl.
this is the result of the plastic that I have dried for two days. Now, the key reason why I choose to use starch as my polymer is that it's biodegradable. That means, natural organisms like bacteria are capable of breaking down the material into smaller parts. In this case, I take a polymer which is tapioca starch and break it down into its monomer parts. In this case, simple sugar. Sugar are a vital energy source for all living organisms. As a result, many organisms from bacteria to humans have enzymes that break starch into simplest sugar. The starch polymer is made up of change of simple sugar monomers called glucose. The bond that connect them are called glycosidic bond. An enzyme called amylase help break the sugar apart from each other by fitting between two monomers. A water molecule is adsorbed in order to break the glycosidic bond between two monomers in a process called hydrolysis. In conclusion, bioplastic is less toxic and does not contain BPA, a hormone disruptor that is often found in traditional plastic. So don't forget to try it out. Bye!